The floodgates opening at Ganeview Dam last November. Three years in the making and designed to serve polis and surrounding villages. State of the art, blessed by the church, it should have been an occasion for celebration, but the authorities had to cut the spectacular display short. The reason? They didn't want to waste water. Canaview Dam has collected only one-tenth of its capacity in the two years since its completion, hard evidence of the dry winters Cyprus has experienced in recent years. But it's not the first time that Cyprus has been carefully watching its water supplies. Water, or lack of it, is an ongoing issue here. Has the current shortage been exaggerated? And what will really happen in Paphos if there is no rain this winter? For Paphos, uh, for the year 200, 2008, we have um, adequate water in the Aspogremos Dam and in connection with the water we can get from boreholes in Diarizos and Xeropotamos, as well as the water which we shall be able to convey from the new dam in Canaview, uh, we, uh, we shall not have problem to supply uh, necessary water, the water needed for the a domestic water supply of the Paphos region. But water consumption has increased to the tune of 5 to 10 percent in the past year in Paphos, largely because of widespread development, particularly in Paya. Desalination, the costly process of making seawater potable, is already on the horizon for Limassol. Will Paphos follow suit? If we have uh, uh, continuous the continuous uh, dry years, like the last three years, definitely uh, we shall be faced with the situation that water will not be adequate uh, in the program of dam to um, meet the requirements for domestic water supply. And in that case, uh, we shall be uh, <coughs> providing um, desalination plant for Paphos as well. Desalination is not new to Cyprus. Nicosia's and Larnaca's supplies include desalinated water. In Paphos, initially, a floating unit would be stationed below the Aspro Kremlos Dam on the coast, close to Guglia. Run on electricity, the power consumption would be huge. The result, higher water bills. Of course, it's already more expensive uh, than uh, the water that we get from the dams. Uh, because uh, you need a big investment to have this desalination unit. This, uh, the current desalination unit that we have now in Larnaga and the Gelia, uh, we sell the water around 46 or 30, 47 cents per cubic meter. So it's uh, much more than the cost of this water, which is 10 and 11 cents per cubic meter. Agriculture Minister Fodis Fodiu at the official opening of Ganaview Dam. In addition to its expense, is it true what many critics of desalination say, that water which has gone through the process is all but stripped of its nutrients? No, according to the standards which are used for production of uh, water through desalination, uh, this method uh, provides uh, good quality of water, uh, which is accepted by, is within the uh, acceptable uh, standards of uh, water from a uh, hygienic point of view as well as uh, chemical point of view. As far as water conservation is concerned, the authorities say awareness campaigns are having a positive impact on consumers, but without rain, drilling for underground reservoirs and desalination are inevitable. This is just um, uh, some measures uh, for uh, short-term uh, support of the whole situation. Uh, this will not help us for just to solve our problem in the long term. But of course, uh, this period and the next uh, six or seven months are very difficult uh, months for us. So we have to include this address also uh, in this uh, effort uh, to solve our problem. We shall need uh, more than the normal rainfall in order to be able to collect adequate water for the dam so we shall be able to meet all the requirements that is for irrigation and for the domestic water supply. With the Archbishop of Cyprus recently calling on priests to pray for rain, the agriculture minister's hopes for divine intervention don't seem so out of place.
So we hope that God will uh, uh, listen to our case and uh, very soon we are going to have rains.